Man, I honestly don't know how many times I've tried to fix Cyberpunk native HDR, but this is it. This is the best of my knowledge and abilities right now, and I don't think I'm going to make another video, <laughs> okay? I mean, I'm very, very happy with this result. So these are the reshade settings. Let me show you the in-game settings. That's all we have to do here. And I will explain, of course. I will explain, I will show you how it looks near black, and I will show you the daytime. So these are the in-game settings, 650. This is specifically for HGIG on LG OLEDs that are 800 nits. If you have a different, you know, you have a C a G2 or a G3 or you have an S95C, a different display, you have to adjust that in-game brightness slider accordingly. Just take a look at this Max CLL we have at the top left corner of the screen. You see here. When we look at the sun, we have 800. Okay, this is what we want. That's what we're looking for. That's what we need to get the best HDR effect. So now, what's the problem with Cyberpunk native HDR, man? First of all, it has black level rays. So take a look at this minimum CLL. Again, top, top left corner. We need that to be zero. Minimum ZLL, we need it to be zero. So we have zero blacks. We have perfect blacks. So you get infinite contrast if you have an OLED. I mean, that's the reason why you buy an OLED. So if you don't have zero blacks, that's absolutely terrible. And you can definitely tell the difference when a game doesn't have perfect blacks. It looks terrible. It just looks gray near black. It looks horrendously bad. So we have to fix that, first of all. Then we have to fix the overall impression of the game. So during the daytime, for example, a scene like this just looks washed out. It looks so bad because the, the average, take a look at the average CLL, that would be like 250, something ridiculous, okay? So what you have to do is you have to lower that uh, midpoint and you have to, you know, also lower the peak brightness in game because you have to consider what is the capabilities of your display okay if your display cannot do 250 nits full screen like this LG C1 you definitely have to lower that average CLL otherwise everything looks blown out okay at least in my experience testing this game and I've tested everything okay I've tested every single uh, of this uh, Lilium HDR tone mapping settings, I've tested all the in-game settings, auto HDR, SDR, HDR trick, force HLG over SDR. I've tried everything on this game. So when I tell you that I have experience testing Cyberpunk, that's an understatement. Okay. So the problem is when you reduce that uh, midpoint setting in-game to fix the white so they don't look washed out then near black it looks too dark okay it looks too dark so we need to increase that visibility near black so let me show you how it looks how the game looks near black let me load a different uh a different part of the game here that is on the darkness so we can see that actually we have perfect blacks and the visibility is good visibility near black is very very good so let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this scene here. It looks absolutely perfect. Okay, It looks bright enough. We have zero nits. We have perfect blacks. It doesn't look washed out. It looks very, very nice. And also this game is very colorful too. Take a look at the, at the uh, color gamut. So you see here at the middle left of the screen you see bt709 that's the sdr color space we have dcip3 and bt2020 five percent you see so this game is very colorful it's very very nice hdr and it is definitely a great opportunity uh that these developers miss <laughs> really to give you the best hdr ever period because a night full of neon lights i mean it doesn't get any better than that to get an awesome HDR experience. Uh, but these developers really messed it up. But I fixed it with these settings and I will explain you more what I did here. Take a look at this near uh, near black detail. I mean, it doesn't get 
Look at this. I'm not sure if you can see them. Uh, the mouse. Let's see if we can see the mouse. If I take this out of the way. Take a look at this thing here. It's like an air conditioning or like no, not like air conditioning. It's like an electricity is thing there. You can see all the details there. All the details are visible, and this is bright enough near black. And at the same time, we have zero nits. Okay, so we have perfect blacks, perfect visibility near black. We have perfect highlight details because we have the correct max L. Nothing looks blowing out. This is perfect. Okay. I am done. I am not doing any other <laughs> cyberpunk HDR video. So let me explain you what I did here. Uh, I use this shader called PROD03, PROD8003 curved levels. Okay. And I tried everything again. I tried all the Lilion tone mapping uh, settings. I tried everything, bro absolutely everything under the sun i tried okay but this was the best result i was able to get so what i did here is i get this graph and i reduce first of all i reduce this gray black point until i get zero nits okay but you have to understand i gave different settings for this gray black point because i was using a different midpoint okay so when you change the in-game midpoint uh then this uh, the black level race changes okay so you need to use different settings so for that uh in-game midpoint one i have to use black point 14 to get zero blacks okay so you can see that here it is crushed on the graph it is crushed all that garbage is crushed so we get zero perfect blacks and then what I did was I increased the visibility near black. And you can see it here on the graph. It is, uh, you know, higher than reference. So the reference is this diagonal line. And I just increased that. So I get more visibility near black. And then what I did with the rest of the settings was to make sure I was following the line uh, so I, I didn't want to increase the visibility here on the mid-tones because that's something that I was trying to fix by reducing that midpoint setting in-game, okay? So that's what I did, and these are the values. So with these values, you're basically changing the way this uh, curve is following the line, okay? That's what I did. Increase the visibility near black, crush the black's to, you know to get perfect blacks so basically if I go back and forth let me show you if I go before and after take a look at this before so this is before after so what I did is right click here on the shader and I selected like a like a hotkey take a look before after take a look at this it looks darker and washed out at the same time look at this darker and washed out after you see before after before after big big difference i mean it's just absolutely incredible before after gigantic difference let's take a look at this before after you see it's, it now looks brighter it looks brighter but at the same time we have infinite contrast we have perfect blacks let me reduce let me get this graph out of the way so you get the correct max CLL reading. Take a look at this. Before, take a look at the minimum CLL at the top left corner. We don't have zero. We don't have perfect blacks. So we don't have perfect blacks. It looks dark and it looks washed out at the same time. <laughs> so this is terrible. After, before, after. This is such a huge difference. Before, after. Gigantic difference. And if we go here, it is like if we go really, really dark here, it, it just looks so terrible without this fix. Look at this. Before, after. <laughs> it is a dramatic difference. Look at that picture. It is so dim and washed out at the same time. After. See what I'm doing? I'm basically expanding the signal. Look at the graph at the top right corner. Before, after. Before, after it's like i am creating <laughs> information there 
This is just a mess before, after. Absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at this corner here. Before, after. Before, after. This is great. And of course, with those changes, we are all also changing the max CLL. That's why I had to to check because when I you know when I change this um, PROD8003 curve to levels, I am also changing a little bit the max CLL. So that's why I had to adjust the in-game settings. And if you ask me why this in-game settings, uh, why 650? Because this game is messed up. <laughs> this slider is not doing what it's telling you, okay? <laughs> this slider is messed up. If you select 800, you're going to get a lot higher than 800. That's why I have to select a different number there, okay? So let me just load a different file during the day and just... You know, go around for a moment. Let me show you like another shot here. Let's take a look at this desert area. And this was one of the things that I couldn't fix in any way. Even using Auto HDR, the whites are washed out. And it just looks horrible during the day. Um, yeah, so especially this, this uh, scenes like that. Desert time, it was just looking so washed out with the default midpoint in two. It was just horrendously, horrendous. But take a look at this. Looks very nice now. Very nice. No complaints. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions. You know, the TV, the TV settings, these are, again, these are settings are specifically for LG OLEDs that have 800 nits. But if you have a different display, the only thing you have to make sure you change and you check is the max CLL aside from that is the same it's not there's no difference so just make sure you check that max CLL with the in-game pick brightness slider but the rest of the settings are gonna be the same so if you have an LG OLED use HGIG uh, that's what these settings are for HGIG it looks absolutely amazing you can see here this fire this scene everything is visible I absolutely love how this is looking right now so let me know if you give this a try again we have super bright and super dark at the same time this is what hdr is all about let me know if you give this a try <laughs> i mean we've tried so many different settings for for cyberpunk that it is absolutely crazy but yeah i've i've learned every single time something new <laughs> so when i learn something new i have to revisit cyberpunk settings so yeah let me know if you give this a try uh, and if you have any questions